It's no secret that plenty of people have reverence for the Nintendo GameCube's Luigi's Mansion, and the 3DS sequel Dark Moon made its own strong impression. Now, fans are just a few months away from the third game in the series, which is a true successor to the original. After holding the release date in their pocket for a while, Nintendo has finally confirmed that Luigi's Mansion 3 will release on October 31st, 2019. Halloween makes for a perfect debut for this spooky but still family-friendly adventure. In addition, it also neatly sets the title up for the holiday season. In fact, it almost seems like the franchise has been trying to get to this date all along. If you recall the first game's release back in 2001, it came out on September 14th in Japan and November 18th in North America. The 2018 3DS3 release came out even closer to Halloween, hitting shelves on October October 11th. Now the third game in the series will finally hit on the single scariest day of the year. Sure, the game may still be called Luigi's Mansion, but the newest entry takes place in a much different setting, a hotel. During the trailer, Nintendo showed off the extremely tall skyscraper-like building that Luigi must climb in order to free Mario and the rest of his friends. Throughout his adventure, he'll traverse at least 17 different floors, each with its own unique theme such as the medieval concept shown off during the gameplay demo. Another floor shown during the demo featured a movie production theme. With Nintendo moving the setting from a mansion to a hotel layout, it gives off a completely different atmosphere compared to the previous games. And that's exactly what producer Kensuke Tanabe wanted. It allowed for a unified setting, but one that gave the team the flexibility to create a wide range of themes to help keep the game from feeling stagnant. There's quite a lot to be excited about when it comes to Luigi's Mansion 3, and that includes this new hotel setting. Those familiar with the first two Luigi's Mansion games will feel right at home when the third game releases. Based on gameplay footage, it looks as though the core gameplay concepts are consistent with the previous titles. Luigi has his trusty ghost-sucking vacuum as his main way to combat enemies. He'll use that vacuum, given to him by the wonderful Professor E. Gad, to suck in ghosts after stunning them with a burst from his flashlight. This is all familiar, but what's new is that after grabbing an enemy with the vacuum, a meter starts filling up. Once full, Luigi can activate a new move called Slam which hits the ghost into the ground repeatedly, helping to deplete its health. Alongside this new move come a few other new techniques, such as a burst technique that allows Luigi to blast his vacuum at the floor, clearing whatever is near him while he jumps straight up in the air. There are also techniques that can help with puzzle solving, including a plunger that he shoots from the vacuum. When it sticks to certain environmental pieces, he can tug at the plunger and it'll reveal secrets and hidden rooms. Oh, and Gooigi's making a return. But how about we don't talk about Luigi's Goo-Based clone, who made his premiere in the Nintendo 3DS remake of Luigi's Mansion. The less we have to stare into those cold, dead eye sockets, the better. In addition to the story mode, which does allow for cooperative, Luigi-centric gameplay, Luigi's Mansion 3 will see the return of the multiplayer Scarescraper mode that developer Next Level Games introduced in Dark Moon for the 3DS. This mode allows for up to four players, either locally or online, to team up for a series of timed objective-based missions. Actually, you can even add another four players locally, allowing those players to each control a… ugh, Luigi. He slimed me. The missions will have players completing tasks like clearing out floors of enemies, rescuing toads, and surely some other variations. Through coordination and communication, which you can do via a series of D-pad-based messages, players will look to complete these given tasks before time runs out. This mode should offer endless replayability, as every floor is randomly generated, meaning that no two scenarios will look exactly the same. You can't have a Mario-based video game without at least some coin collecting. As a staple of the Juggernaut franchise, it's no surprise that Next Level Games implemented some of that gold coinage into its latest Luigi's Mansion title. In LM3, Luigi will encounter a myriad of coins throughout the Skyscraper Hotel. Whether obtained easily through secret areas or via Luigi-centric puzzles, these coins can certainly help the protagonist during his quest to save Mario and Co. Using these coins, Luigi can purchase unique items like the Golden Bone, which is a once-per-level item that allows his ghost dog Polter Pup to revive him. Whether during difficult rooms or boss fights, this item will come in handy, and that means it's definitely beneficial to seek out those coins. Additionally, players can use the currency to unlock hints for the collectible gem locations. Greed isn't often good, but it will certainly benefit Luigi during this excursion. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more SVG videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.